As the Russian invasion progresses, the world's attention is drawn to Russia. Russia's military has been greatly modernized for more than a decade. New and advanced weapon systems have replaced old and outmodeled technology. They also made it simpler to move their soldiers around by streamlining how they interact with one another. Being classified in the top 10 militaries in the world is no small achievement, but being ranked second out of 140 nations assessed for the yearly GFP evaluation is even more astounding. They have the most up-to-date technology, skills, and more. So, in today's video, we'll be looking at Russia's military strength as of 2022, and make sure to stick around until the end when we'll be discussing some of Russia's most renowned helicopters, planes, and more. The deployment of Russian troops and equipment near Ukraine has drawn a lot of attention to Russia's military forces and raised concerns about Moscow's intentions towards Ukraine. Since the fall of the Soviet Union, Russia has become a significantly more competent military force as a result of the New Look Military Modernization Initiative, which began in late 2008. Attempts to reconstruct Russia's armed forces have been made in the past, especially in the 1980s and the 1990s. However, the new look was sparked by a lackluster performance in the October 2008 battle with Georgia, increased political will, and improved financial conditions. The State Armament Program 2011-20 played a critical role in achieving re-equipment goals. The Strategic and Aerospace Forces have made the most progress with the Strategic and Aerospace Forces, along with the Navy having more modern equipment than the ground troops. Let's start with an overview and we'll compare the basics to the U.S. when it comes to the defense spending. $62.2 billion in Russia, $715 billion in the United States. Russia has 9,000 active personnel, whereas the United States has 1,395,350. Russia has 2 million reserve personnel, whereas the United States has 843,450. Russia has 339 intercontinental ballistic missile launchers, whereas the United States has 400. Ground Forces Since the start of the new look, Russia's ground forces have evolved dramatically. Modern equipment has arrived, albeit in fewer numbers than expected. Instead, the focus has been on modernizing existing systems and integrating more precise and long-range weaponry. Perhaps the most significant shift in the ground forces has been in terms of organization and manpower. The authorities intended to reform the ground forces, such as the brigade became their primary unit of action in the early years of the new look, with the goal of producing self-sustaining mobile formations of the type that would be needed for Russia's perimeter. Contract employee recruitment, on the other hand, did not keep up with the goal. Battalion tactical groups were launched in 2012 to develop effective combat strength from brigades by concentrating contact men into battalion-sized groups, a concept that dates back to the 1990s. A tank or infantry battalion is usually reinforced by armor or infantry, as well as artillery, air defense, electronic warfare, and other combat support capabilities. Let's take a look at some figures. When it comes to tanks held by a country, Russia ranks first with around 13,000, with the United States coming in second with almost half of Russia's total with approximately 6,612. So, here are two prominent Russian tanks, some of which you may not be aware of. Armada. The Armada is a new generation of Russian main combat tanks. In 2015, the first public sightings of pre-production tanks were made. The T-90M, at the moment, is Russia's only mass-produced tank. It is not as advanced as its Western competitors, but it is cost-effective and employs established technology. It is now the world's most commercially successful main battle tank. With armored vehicles, Russia is in third place, with the United States having the most armored vehicles and Russia having around 30,112 armored vehicles. When it comes to armored vehicles, there is a handful that spring to mind as honorable mentions. These vehicles can travel on a 90-degree incline and even float across the water while carrying heavily armed personnel. The Tiger, for example, is one of the most powerful beasts on the planet. Two is the Vityaz 2 vehicle, also known as the Vehicle with Secrets, and what exactly are those secrets, you may wonder? A truck with a secret armored module disguised behind a tarpaulin awning, to be precise. Next, we have the Typhoon. The Typhoon was designed to transport army troops over all sorts of terrain in all types of weather, ranging from negative 50 to 40 degrees Celsius. The Typhoon can carry self-propelled anti-aircraft artillery, an unmanned aerial vehicle carrier, and other equipment in addition to infantry. When it comes to rocket projectors, Russia is first, but only by a little margin, with about 3,391 rocket projectors, and China is close behind with approximately 31,160. 
Russia possesses 3,547 self-propelled artillery pieces and is once again in the first place. The self-propelled artillery system is an important part of ground combat, providing indirect firepower over long range with a variety of projectile types. The recapitalization of missile and rocket artillery units has made significant progress. The 500 km range NK-720 Iskander M has taken the place of the 120 km range Tochka U and 13 more Iskander battalions have been constructed. Both ballistic and cruise missiles can be used in the Iskander system. The Tornado S system has been added to the existing BM-30 Smirch multiple rocket launcher system and the Tornado G system has been added to the shorter range BM-21 Grad system. Mobile layered air defense is also a strength of the ground troops with systems capable of engaging at various altitudes and ranges. Naval Forces Since 2008, Russia's naval forces have seen significant transformations in terms of capabilities and posture. When it comes to naval fleets, Russia is a close second to China with a naval fleet of around 605 assets. When it comes to aircraft carriers, the Russian Navy possesses roughly seven, but only one is now in service the Kuznetsov class, which is a beast among beasts. As stated earlier in this video, Russia's naval force has undergone significant transformations, the most notable of which is the Navy's ability to play a significant role as a result of the emergence of the 3M14 caliber long-range, highly precise land attack cruise missile on multiple surfaces and submarine platforms in the fleet, allowing Moscow to put an opponent's critical land-based infrastructure at risk from the sea. The Project 21631, Bayan M and Project 22800 Karakut Corvettes, as well as the similarly equipped Project 06363 upgraded Kilo submarines, have all been introduced as new small and medium sized surface combatants armed with caliber. All of these ships contribute to the Navy's brown water active defense in depth capability. The development of the very powerful Project 885, Project 08851, Yasin Yasin M missile aired nuclear powered submarines has also improved submarine capabilities. They provide a significant anti submarine warfare problem, despite their debut taking considerably longer than expected. Aerospace Forces With a total military aircraft strength of 4,173 aircraft, Russia comes in second to the United States. The Air Force has replaced the majority of its single role fighters, such as the Sukhoi Su 27 flanker and MIG MIG 29 fulcrum with the multi-role fighter ground attack variants such as the SU-35S Flanker M, SU-30SM Flanker H, and SU-34 Fullback during the last decade. There has also been considerable focus on modernizing rotary wing aircraft with the introduction of the MI-28N Havoc and the KA-52 Hokum attack helicopters, albeit these programs are rather old. With the MI-26 Halo remaining the basis of heavy transport with indications of the development on a successor beginning, even less is known about a potential replacement for the legendary medium transport MI-8. A long overdue and much needed update of its air-to-air -air missile stockpile is also in the works, with better short, medium, and long-range AAMs entering service in the mid-2010s. They have a hefty 1,543 in the helicopter department, the Milmi 28 and M Havoc is the most notable. The latest Russian assault helicopter joins the legendary Mi-24 and the one-of-a-kind Ka-50 family. The Havoc has finally molded itself into an all-around efficient design after an extraordinary long development span of 27 years from its first flight to debut. The Kamov K-52 Hokum B is another beast. The Ka-52 attack helicopter is perhaps the most unconventional attack helicopter in service today, with tandem side-by-side -side seating, ejection seats, dual contra rotating main rotors, and no tail blades. It is now one of the most versatile military helicopters in the world. When it comes to attack helicopters, the US ranks first with around 910, followed by Russia with 544. Most noteworthy is the modified Ka-52M attack helicopter, which, while not in service yet, is claimed to be more lethal than the US's Apache. An AESA radar, which improves target detection, tracking, and engagement range for its onboard armament systems, as well as a new electric power supply, and avionics are among the major upgrades. According to reports, the Ka-52 Alligator is the world's first operational helicopter with ejection seats. It is extremely distinct in its design from its American equivalent, the AH-64E Apache Longbow, because it has a coaxial rotor configuration that is only seen on Kamov helicopters. Nuclear power. However, 
Russia's nuclear capabilities make it one of the most frightening countries in terms of military strength. Russia is one of the world's leading nuclear energy producers. Nuclear power plants generated 215.746 terawatt hour of energy in 2020, accounting for 20.28% of total power output in Russia. All nuclear weapons counts are approximations, but the Federation of American Scientists believes that Russia possesses 5,977 nuclear warheads, with roughly 1,500 of them discommissioned and due to be dissembled. The majority of the remaining 4,500 or so nuclear weapons are ballistic missiles or rockets that can be targeted across long distances. These are the weaponry that is most commonly linked with nuclear warfare. So, how does this stack up against the rest of the world? China, France, India, Israel, North Korea, Pakistan, Russia, the United States, and the United Kingdom are the only countries with nuclear weapons. Russia is in first place with 5,997 by 20, followed by NATO with 5,943, China with 350, Pakistan with 165, India with 160, Israel with 90, and North Korea with 20. China, France, Russia, the United States, and the United Kingdom are among the 191 countries that have signed the treaty on the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons. They are required under the agreement to diminish their nuclear weapon stockpiles and, in theory, to eliminate them entirely. So what are your thoughts on Russia, the powerhouse? Do you believe their military capability will grow in the future years, or will it dwindle? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.